guys, today I want to show you how I make these blue and purple hibiscus flowers. So first, to start off with, I put triangles of blue and purple next to each other, rolled it with uh, my roller, and then put it through the pasta machine. Then I fold it down over itself and put it through the pasta machine maybe six or seven times. And then I cut out these teardrops from these cutters, cookie cutters I got from Amazon. And then I make these little veins, flower veins, with my needle tool here. That's what I'm doing there. And then I take each petal in my hand and I take like a roller, a roll, a ball tool, and sort of roll the ball over the edges and it gives it this sort of petal look. And I do that to each one. And then I take one of them and roll it around a, a pin, a hair pin, eye pin. And then I roll that into a nice tight snake. And forgive me, I don't have the blue and purple, the video of the blue and purple wrap. So I'm showing you how I wrap the pistol in my orange and pink hibiscus, which you can also watch the tutorial on how I made this flower. but. Here I'm just showing you, you know, you can, I wrapped the blue and purple the exact same way that I'm wrapping this pink and orange one here. And then I baked them and they were really brittle because the petals were so thin. See that one broke. And I painted little yellow spots on the edges of the piston. So then I topped these off with a bit of, um, and that's why they're so shiny and they kind of look wet, which I love. And then I ended up putting these on a, um, like a headband, made like this little like kind of crown out of them. You can see that broken one I sort of put to back together. So let me know what you think. Um, you can put these on a hair barrette, you can put them on a necklace, a, a ring, it'd be a giant ring, but you know, that's your thing. Or just set them, use them as decoration. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have any questions and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.